Hello, my name is Professor Lawrence Gill from the School of Engineering and along with Professor Jenny McElwain from the School of Natural Sciences, we would like to introduce a new exciting course in environmental science and engineering that has been offered in Trinity College for the first time this coming year. Indeed, this is the first course of its kind combining environmental sciences and engineering in Ireland. Hello and welcome. So this is a flagship course of a new initiative across Trinity called E3. E3 aims to harness the knowledge and skills of researchers and lecturers at Trinity working in environment, engineering and emerging technologies, the three E's. To develop, our aim is to develop sustainable solutions for our future to tackle global scale pressures such as climate change, the transition to zero carbon economies, provision of clean water and conservation of biodiversity, to name just a few. This new flagship course in environmental science and engineering aims to provide students with the skills and knowledge needed to address these most pressing challenges facing society. Examples of course offered from the disciplines of natural sciences include environmental impact assessment, field courses to ecological rewilding sites and courses on nature-based solutions for urban development such as green roof technology integrated with solar panels and plant-based atmospheric pollution monitors. So what exactly is this degree? Well it integrates, it's an integrated five-year course the first four years are a BSc and there's an additional year um, of study leading to either a Master in Engineering or a Master's in, environmental, in Applied Environmental Science. And as I said before, the aim is to train the next generation of graduates to design and deploy solutions that protect and improve our environment and human well-being. The environmental engineering side of the course incorporates the fundamental building blocks of engineering, such as creative design thinking and analytical skills, with the aim of developing real solutions to protect the environment and achieve more sustainable ways of living. Sub -sub subjects that are covered include hydrology, um, including water resources impacts like droughts and flooding, waste and water treatment processes, renewable energy technologies and air pollution. So here's an overview of the course structure. In the first two years of the course, these off we offer an integrated set of modules to all students, taking many foundational courses in both the schools of natural sciences and engineering, as well as some bespoke courses in environmental science and environmental engineering. In year three, the students can then start to specialize into either an environmental science stream or a parallel environmental engineering stream although the majority of the module taken at this stage will still be common to both streams. Also, all the students in the course will continue throughout years three, four and five to be mixed to group work on group design projects, which is one of the key philosophies of the course. In the fourth year, there will be more chance to take specialised modules in either stream and students can then leave at this point with a BSc degree, although we expect most students to continue on to year five. In the fourth year, it is also encouraged for students to take either an industrial placement or else to go on a student exchange to a European university or indeed a company uh, for half a year, of which more later. We anticipate that most students will stay on for this extra year to gain a master's degree in either applied environmental science or environmental engineering. This will also allow students to be eligible for accreditation by professional institutions, for example, becoming a chartered engineer. So, as described in year four, there are many options open to the students. Some may want to stay in Trinity to take lectures and carry out a research projects. There will also be industrial placements on offer in both engineering and environmental science based areas of different companies or agencies. For example, in recent years, students have worked in Irish Water, Dublin City Council, Intel, the EPA, etc. Alternatively, Trinity offers exchange programmes with European universities and companies called the Cluster EUNITEC programme, 
where students typically spend the first semester in TCD and then the second semester overseas. There will also be opportunities to take part in Erasmus Plus exchange programme. And this is one of the EU's flagship trans mobility programmes for students, enabling students at Trinity to develop and share knowledge and experience at institutions and organisations in different countries all across, um, all across Europe. What type of careers, opportunities will this course, this new course offer? Oh, you can see there's many examples and many career pathways. Um, an example, if you take the applied environmental science pathway, would be um, undertaking environmental impact assessment or biodiversity assessment in major multinationals. Increasingly, multinational companies are having to take account not only of their, of their, their business bottom line, but also the natural capital. Um, and this is called natural capital accounting. And many of the courses you will undertake in this new program um, will, will train you in this area. Another example of the type of work that such graduates may get involved in is an ongoing large flood alleviation project for flooding in South Galway. This area has experienced many severe groundwater floods from waters that come up from the underground cave systems in the area following periods of heavy rain. Environmental engineers have been studying the hydrology of the area and developed numerical models to make predictions about future flooding, um, particularly in response to predictions of climate change impacts and also the size of the flood alleviation structures that are required to protect the local population from these impacts of climate change, etc. The environmental scientists on the scheme have been working alongside with the engineers to assess the impact of such flood alleviation on the ecology and biodiversity of the wetlands in the area, as well as the impact of discharging more fresh water into the, into the sea uh, in the Galway Bay there. We're very much forward to welcoming you to Trinity and welcoming you into this exciting new integrated BSc master's degree in environmental science and engineering. If you enrol in this new innovative course, you will graduate with the skills and experience needed to change how society views and uses the Earth's limited resources.